what the was that? Two seconds later. Looks like I picked the wrong week to quit smoking. Based on the starting lineup, that game was everything I expected in the first half. That is one big pile of shit. I didn't like the starting lineup, but let me say this. It's Arteta's house. He can furnish it how he wants. He has till the end of the season. The team has given him a vote of confidence. Oh, that's... thank you. Okay. So any of this Arteta out now stuff is not helping the situation. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, the language on you. When did it stop being fun to be an Arsenal supporter? It's not fun anymore. This is aggravation. This is like some mad scientist experiment to see if they can drive millions of people insane. Does this hurt? Does this hurt? Does this hurt? Does this hurt? Good. Everything hurts. So, of course, Jaka is gonna make a bonehead play like that. Why should Jaka have to worry about getting a red card? Pepe got a red card, and Arteta let him play the next game. There's no consequences. Bellerin, in a North London derby, cannot make simple throw-ins, but he plays the next game. There's no consequences for bad behavior on this Arsenal team, unless your name is Gwenduzi or Ozil. Oh my god, did I just stick up for Ozil? <laughs> season has been going so bad in January maybe we should just give Ozil a chance shut your festering gob you tit your type makes me puke you vacuous toffee nosed malodorous pervert this is rock bottom you know we're all going through different lockdowns the entirety of New York is getting locked down you, you can't even go outside without a mask or some kind of body armor I don't know Right now, I'm miserable about Arsenal, and I'll worry about having to get dressed to go outside. <laughs> Our season feels like that scene in Aliens. Now what the fuck are we supposed to do? This is some real pretty shit now, man! This is rock bottom. New York out. <laughs> Ah, oh, that hurt.